<clears throat> Let's say you get cut. My job is to get in there as quick as possible. For the most part, we have 50 seconds. You have to understand the 50 second clock. You know, uh, a minute. If you're there a minute, you can be there 10 seconds too late. During that 50 seconds, you have to clean out the oh, cut. It's not too bad. It's not bad. Calm the fighter. Everything's fine. Control the bleeding and, and set him out as good as he can win. It's a damage that can change the fight. I want to be the guy to make that difference. Yeah, just do it. Just with, uh, why don't you introduce yourself? All right, I'm Mike Basil. My name is Jacob Duran. People call me Stitch, but I'm a cut man for fighters. I've been a cut man, practicing cut man since 2007. I've been doing it for like 30 something years. My job is, is when the fighters get into the dressing room, uh, I'll wrap their hands and then come fight time, then my job is to minimize uh, any injuries, any swelling, any cuts, and give them that opportunity to go that one more round. And, and win the fight. All right, so we will listen in and see how they manage this cut. You can have a checklist, but you know, things kind of happen. Well, you have two things against you. You got a guy that's got cut. Look at that face. But then you got the opponent that's punching him back. And if the guy's well-schooled, he's gonna zero in on that injury. You better be ready, and you better be prepared. During that three minutes that they're fighting, my whole focus is their face. And, and depending on what kind of damage they're doing, I've already prepared for the worst case scenario. And that's why I tell all young cut men, prepare for the worst case scenario, because it's gonna happen. I'm ready to go before I, oh gosh, before I even hit the, uh, the dressing rooms. I have all my stuff that I bring, my, all my tools, my medicines, everything that I need. Check that out, look at the uh, seal. Seal's good. We have to use what's legally allowed medicine-wise, and that's adrenaline. The dilution is one to 1,000. It is a vessel constrictor. So you apply it on the cut, and for the most part, it closes up the vessels. And that's what we use on the swab. So once a bell ring, this thing's cut. I'll meet him wherever he's at. If he's at the other side of the ring, I'll apply that pressure and walk him back towards the stool. I'll sit him down, and during that time, I'll get my swab that I have on my wrist wrap, and I'll apply it there for 10, 15 seconds. I tell people, if your cut man puts a swab here, or he puts it here, get another cut man that's filthy. So I created the wrist wrap where he put the swabs here. I put the Vaseline here, so you kind of work like an artist. Then you use Vaseline, there's creates a film, which minimalizes the abrasive texture of, of leather against skin. And you can use that too, use it in the cuts, use it to seal the wound, to allow the medicine to work. Sometimes the fight, he, the guy hits him, the eye swells up right away. That's usually controlled. In swell, ice bag, you can control that swelling. I like to use this the Ziploc bag, but you can make those small, which you can put into the eye socket. And then I like a heavy metal in swell, which you can put direct pressure on swelling. When I worked Lomachenko and uh, Tiffany Lopez, had to be on my job from the very first round, you know, swelling -wise. Slight swelling there on the left eye of Tiafimo Lopez. That's going to be tended to by Mike the Mechanic Basil. I was on his swelling early in the fight, and I did try to control the swelling so it didn't get worse, you know, and then cut open in, let's say, the ninth, tenth, or eleventh round. It did, it did finally open, but at the twelfth round. I got an accidental headbutt. Once that happens and you're able, you, you, you get them through that, it's a real special relationship. There's a trust they have with you. There's a relationship they have with you, a bond with them. You want to take care of them. It's not about the fights anymore. It, it's about the characters that I work with, the people behind the scenes. Great job in this. No, thank you, my man. You too. Congratulations. I have so much respect for these fighters. They're modern day gladiators. Modern day gladiators, but deep inside they're all babies, and I'm the one that takes care of the baby.
the job has really remained the same. You know, it's the same fundamental, the same 50 seconds, the same cut, the same medications, you know. I love the pressure of it. I love just the want to do it. Just, I'm gonna be in there. I'm gonna be in there as fast as I can. I'm gonna stay in there. I'm gonna take advantage of every second that's allowed to me. And I'm gonna try to give that fighter the best opportunity. Once it gets in your blood, once it gets in your, your heart, you find that passion for it, that's it. You can't stop even if you wanted to. I love doing what I do. It's the best job in the world.